What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one Eye Bri, back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 9 and some very interesting news about the back half of Season 9 concerning Daryl, Alpha, and a bunch of other characters. Obviously, spoiler warning if you don't want to know this information. I want to know your thoughts, but I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So if you're worried about spoilers about Episode 909 and the back half of Season 9, stop watching now. But let's get to it, guys. So Daryl Dixon is going to be a big part of the back half of Season 9. We'll get into that. But also Michonne, I believe, as well. There's been some reports about Michonne and her contract. Denai Guerrera has not signed a contract as of today, February 8th, 2019, I believe, for Season 10 and beyond. So is Michonne safe for Season 9? I believe so, because if she died in Season 9, we wouldn't be talking about Season 10, because she would be gone. So I hope Michonne at least signs a one-year deal for season 10 and then they figure out what to do but there has been some reports that they have a backup plan if she signs or not i believe daryl dixon is going to be extremely important for season 9 10 11 12 whatever the seasons go the movies daryl dixon is going to be the main character if not one of the two maybe three main characters so when in doubt give it to daryl right daryl dixon and carol are important for the show Melissa McBride, who plays Carol, and Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl, have signed a reported three-year deal to be in The Walking Dead movies and the show still. But how much money is coming from this contract? There's been a report that the deal for Melissa McBride could be three years for $20 million, and Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl Dixon, could be anywhere from $50 to $70 to $90 million over the three years. So where does that leave Michonne and Denai Guerrera? We don't know. I know a lot of people are making a big deal about Denai Guerrero's ability to act, to be a bigger star, to be in Black Panther, to be in the Marvel movies, and so on. And maybe that hinders her for The Walking Dead, but I hope it doesn't. I love Michonne, she's my favorite character, and I think if Michonne left the show, it would be too much for the show to recover from. But hopefully Denai Guerrero signs a contract and there is still time before April and May. Michonne, Judith, RJ, Daryl, Carol, hopefully Maggie, Tara, Enid, Sadiq, Jerry, Aaron, and so on. I hope the cast continues to go and grow for a long time, but is the show running out of steam? I think Judith is the future of the show. A lot of the cast members right here can hopefully be on the show for a long time. We'll see who makes it out of season nine, season 10, and so forth. And if you saw the previous videos, you're like, I know all this information already. Well, relax. The recent report is that Daryl Dixon, Norman Reedus talked about the back half of season nine and that we're going to see Daryl a lot. And obviously, right? He's the main lead, if not one of the main leads of the show, and they're gonna give him a lot of parts. Is that gonna help or hurt the show? If you give too much to Daryl, it might be watering it down a little bit. I like Daryl, some people hate him, some people love him, but I think he's essential to the show, especially now. But Daryl Dixon is going to have big parts with Alpha. Beta, Lydia, The Whispers, probably The Whisper of War in season 10. Is it too much? Is it too much Daryl? Is there such a thing as too much Daryl? If Daryl dies, we riot, right? Well, Daryl's not going to be going anywhere. Daryl's going to fight Beta. Daryl's going to meet Alpha. Daryl's going to interact with Lydia. Daryl's going to do this. Daryl's going to do that. When in doubt, give it to Daryl. So if Daryl's doing a lot, and if he's going to be the main star, he's got to deserve a big payday, right? Fair market value shows that the big star of a huge show should get paid the most money. But is Daryl more important than Michonne and Carol? I say yes and no at the same time. If they give all the parts to Daryl, then they're clearly making him the most important character. We've seen it every season so far. Daryl's had a big role and it's going to continue on. And I'm okay with that, but I would love to see Carol interact with Alpha and Michonne interact with Alpha. I would love to see Carol interact with Negan. We still haven't seen certain things like that. And we're going to get to Negan in a second. Don't worry about that. But Daryl is going to fight Beta. Is Daryl going to lose his knives to Beta too? Because we have yet to see Beta's huge knives. I don't know if they're just hunting knives or if they're machetes or what they are, but we haven't seen them, right? It could be the introduction of how he gets those weapons. As for Alpha, we're going to see Alpha interact with Daryl per Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus said that in a recent interview, and of course they are, right? Because Maggie and Rick are the ones who interact with Alpha, and they're not there. They're not gonna be there, we're not gonna see them interact with Alpha this season, and probably ever. I would still love to see Maggie come and rescue the group in season 10. It still could happen, and I hope it does. Daryl's gonna be involved with Hilltop. Daryl's gonna be involved with Henry. And like I asked before, 
is it too much? Is it too much Daryl? Daryl hasn't had the most dialogue and now he's gonna have all this dialogue, I guess, right? But the big knock on Daryl is that he doesn't shower or bathe. He doesn't have much dialogue. He does bad decisions. He acts out of impulse and his decisions have bad consequences for other people. Hopefully that's done. We're not gonna see that anymore because I'm tired of when a good character makes a bad decision and it hurts another person, not even themselves, but another person. Daryl's clearly gonna be impacted by the flashbacks. We're gonna see him connected with the X scars. How did he get it? How did Michonne get it? Did they get it at the same time? We're gonna get more than one flashback. I can't wait to find out. All these questions are going to be answered hopefully in the back half of season nine. I'm very excited for the back half of season nine, season 10, and the movies. It's a good time to be a Walking Dead fan, and hopefully you and or your loved ones haven't given up on the show. But if you're probably watching this video, you probably haven't given up on the show. But what do you think of the Henry, Carol, Daryl dynamic? Is Daryl the best role model for Henry? Is Daryl's actions going to hurt Henry or vice versa? Is Henry going to do something that hurts Daryl? I can't wait to find out. The other question I want to ask is, do you think Negan is the new Rick? We're going to have Regan, the new version of Rick. Rick 2.0, Negan running Alexandria. Because Negan is clearly dressed like Rick here. He's kind of got the beard. He's losing a little more hair than Rick. But you see this side by side that we're going to see in episode 909. They look pretty similar. Also, Negan's going to go to the sanctuary. And he's going to find nothing there for him. So the sanctuary is gone. And I'm not sure it's ever coming back which is a major difference from the comic to the show because in the comic, Dwight runs the sanctuary and then he comes to Alexandria and helps during the Whisperer of War, but the sanctuary is still there. Do you think this is Negan right here? Is it Daryl? Is it somebody else? Is it just a Whisperer? Do you think Negan interacts with the Whispers? What if Daryl goes to the Whisperer camp and he finds Negan there? How's that gonna go? We don't know if it happens or not, but Per episode 909, we're going to see some big interactions with Judith and Negan. Negan escapes Alexandria, but I believe he goes back to Alexandria. Does he go back in his cell? Because like I said, there's nothing there outside of Alexandria for Negan anymore. So what's he going to do? Is he going to eventually run Alexandria with Michonne or at least help out? I think so. I initially thought that Negan will save Daryl, but if he's locked in his cell in Alexandria, if he stays in Alexandria and Daryl's in some building somewhere fighting Beta, how can Negan help him? I guess it doesn't happen. As for the saviors, you see DJ, Laura, and Jimmy at Alexandria. Negan's also at Alexandria. So will his saviors come to his side? And I find it very interesting that Laura, who was a savior, is on the council at Alexandria. That was shown for a reason and done for a reason most likely. Will her vote make Negan part of Alexandria, free him, have Negan help out and ultimately save Alexandria, or at least be a part of it out of the cell. There's Jimmy on the left next to Eugene. His name is not Jimmy on the show. His real name is Jimmy. He doesn't have a credited name on the show, which is pretty crappy. Come on, Walking Dead. Give Jimmy a name, savior. Jimmy works for me. But the big three is Daryl, Carol, and Michonne, obviously. The big three should get paid the most money. The big three does the most for the storyline and progressing the show. Should each person get paid the same amount? I don't know. I'm not paying the bills. I don't know what the future holds, but if Michonne is in danger for season 10 and beyond, the Walking Dead writers have a plan. Per Greg Nicotero, they said they have different plans going forward. So if Denai signs, they'll bring her along. If she doesn't, they'll do this. If this happens, that'll happen. If that happens, this will happen. They have plans for the future. And I'm excited to see how it goes down. If Denai Guerrera is never on the show again, that's gonna piss me off. That's gonna hurt the show, and I'm not gonna like it one bit. But I'm ride or die, I'm gonna continue to watch it. I'm not gonna be the person who's like, if Rick's gone, I'm gone. If Michonne's gone, I'm gone. I'm gonna continue to watch it because I love The Walking Dead. I will respect everyone involved. I did the same thing last year with Lauren Cohan. I understand people wanna do other things, but Michonne is one of, if not the biggest character for me on the show, and I hope she sticks around for a long, long time. Daryl, Carol, Michonne, the big three. We can't be losing any more huge characters, right? Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, like, share, subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications to help us achieve a goal of 100 
thousand subscribers and i have a book update guys book nine right there is available on amazon.com it's 10.99 for paperback and 3.99 for kindle there's my eight books before that fight for us i'm excited hopefully you're excited and you'll check out the series it's not a carbon copy of the walking dead there's a lot of differences in it and a lot of people enjoy it and remember guys with hard work dedication belief and sacrifice you can truly achieve your goals believe in yourself you can do it it's about love support staying positive making memories and tell them daryl Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.